Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome. If you're new here, it is Friday, so it is weigh-in day and I just got to WW. It's about 6.40, so I'm running a little bit later. I had to fix my makeup and hair and pack a bunch of stuff because I'm going to be gone the entire day today. I'll fill you guys in on kind of what I'm doing today when I get out of my workshop, but really quick before I go in, I had a pretty decent week. I stayed within my points most days, so it was definitely better than last week. Was it perfect in the exercise department? No. I ended up only going once to Jazzercise. It is just such a busy time of year. I was going to go Wednesday, but I woke up at 3 a.m., couldn't go back to sleep. I was exhausted by 4 o'clock. Yesterday, I was going to go, but then my friend couldn't go, and I was baking cookies all day, so it just didn't really work into the cards this last week. So that's where I struggled, but overall my food was decent. So I'm hoping when I get on the scale that I've lost some of what I gained last week, because as I've mentioned, my goal for the month of December is to maintain. Right now I'm up about two pounds. So if I can get that off and then maintain through next week, I'm going to feel really good about that and a big fresh start for 2020. So I'm going to head in, weigh in, stay for the workshop, and I'll be back to share the topic that we talked about and my weigh in. Hi friends, welcome back. I'm out of my workshop. It was a great workshop. It was all about recipes, which as you know, is a has a soft spot in my heart. I love recipes. I love taking non-WW recipes and making them WW friendly. I love all things recipes. So this was right up my alley. And actually it came at a really good time because I don't know if you've noticed, but the app has changed a bit. Before, if you were using an Android phone, I'm not sure about an iPhone. I think it was a little bit different. There was a plus sign at the bottom of your screen where you could click that plus sign, you could quick add food, you could find food, you could go to my food and go to your recipes and build a recipe. Well, that plus sign went away and now it's a little bit more convoluted to find that feature in your phone. So now they have it under the search bar. So if you go to the search bar at the top of your app, click on that, right below that you're going to see a blue bar that's going to have all of those things, quick add, calculator, recipes, my food. You just scroll over that blue bar. I'll insert some clips here for you guys to show you exactly what I'm talking about. But that's now where you find your food and your recipes, where you build a recipe. So the workshop actually came at a great time because I've seen a lot of questions on my Facebook group about where to find that feature now. So hopefully that helps you guys find the quick add button, the my food, the calculator. But let's talk a bit about recipes. So with the holidays here, it's actually a really good time to maybe try some different recipes or take your very, very favorite holiday recipes and lighten them up a bit like your stuffing or your sweet potato casserole. So they're showing us on the weekly this week how exactly to go about doing that. And again, I'm going to insert pictures because I think it's going to help you guys a little bit better find how to create a recipe. So at the top of your screen in the search bar, go ahead and click the search bar. And then you're going to click the little button that says my food. Now in this category, you will find any recipes that you've created already. And then this is also where you're going to go to create a new recipe. You'll go ahead and click on the create button in the right hand corner and that's where you're going to create a new recipe. So let's say that you are trying to lighten up your very favorite sweet potato casserole. This is where you will go to create a new WW friendly recipe. So to create a recipe what you're going to do is name the recipe. So name it your sweet potato casserole. Determine the number of servings. Now you can adjust the number of servings to adjust the points. So once you've added in all of your ingredients if it's too many points, go ahead and adjust the serving size, so either upper or lower, the serving size to adjust the point. So you can always add more servings or take away servings if you want to get a little bit more bang for your points buck, or if the point value is a little bit too high, you can always add servings to make the point value where you need it to be. And then you're going to go ahead and add in all of your ingredients, click the plus sign, search for the ingredient that you want to add, and add the amount of that ingredient to the recipe. You can even add in all of the steps to create the recipe, like step by 
step instructions. So it's actually pretty darn cool that the app allows us to not only save recipes we love, but create new recipes, lighten them up. Also, if you're not aware, there is a recipe tab on the WW app where you can go find already created WW recipes. So there is so much on the app and it's a great time again to kind of play around with recipes, come up with some new favorites, lighten up some of your favorites, and really just spend some time searching for recipes. And the last thing about recipes that I want to share with you guys as far as the app is concerned is on connect. If you search hashtag recipes, you're going to come up with a ton of WW friendly recipes. And while we're talking recipes, there is the best place ever to find recipes, and that is on my Facebook group. So any recipe that I share with you in a video is automatically calculated for the green plan, but then my admins on the backside go and calculate it for the blue and the purple. So on my Facebook group, I'm going to put my Facebook group right here on the screen for you. If you are not a member you must join. It is such a supportive, helpful, wonderful place to be. And that is where all of my recipes are posted. Under the files tab at the top of the Facebook group, that is where you're going to find a file for recipes. It is updated every time I upload a new video with a recipe. My admins are amazing at that. So this is where you're going to go to find all of my recipes. I've already done the work for you. I've taken a non-friendly, non-WW friendly recipe, and I've made it WW friendly and given you any modifications, substitutions, and points. So definitely join my Facebook group. That's where you're going to find all of my recipes. And I have to say my recipes generally turn out really, really good. There are a few that I haven't been my favorite, but as you guys know, a lot of you have commented as well that you love my recipes. And again, I do all of the work for you on my Facebook group. So definitely head over, join my Facebook group. You won't be sorry. Lots of ideas. You can ask your questions, share ideas, get ideas, and of course, find my recipes. So now let's talk a little bit about my week and talk about my weigh-in. So as I mentioned, my week was pretty good. I didn't have a whole lot of holiday festivities going on this week until yesterday. So yesterday, actually, I spent the entire day baking. The entire day. We're talking cookies, brownies, cupcakes, you name it, I baked yesterday. And I feel like overall I did pretty good. I did sample the dough. I did taste a couple of things, but I didn't overindulge and I didn't eat piles and piles of cookies and cupcakes and brownies and all the things. So I was actually pretty proud of myself. And I think that in the back of my mind, I thought about today and the fact that I had to weigh in today. And I was like, oh no, I'm not sabotaging and gaining again this week. No way. So I think that that helped me stay on track a little bit more this last a couple of days with baking and preparing to bake. So that was definitely a good thing. This is when my life gets hairy. My WW life gets really crazy is this week. So I have a party tonight, a party tomorrow, and then I'm safe Sunday and Monday. So my goal is to 100% be on track Sunday and Monday, go to Jazzercise on Monday for sure. And then it's Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and then I'm going to get right back on track on Thursday. So that's my plan to make it through this next week so that hopefully when I weigh in on Friday, I maintain. That's my goal. My goal is to maintain on next week's weigh-in. And I will be honest with you guys, I even thought today about how I don't even want to weigh in next Friday. Let's just skip it. But because it is the last Friday of 2019, that's so crazy. And the last time I'm going to weigh in in this year, I want to use it as a starting point for 2020 because I have some goals, guys, for 2020 that I'm going to be sharing with you guys in another video. But I think it's important that I weigh in next Friday so that I have a starting point for 2020. Otherwise, I don't really know where I am and how I can gauge my success for next year. So I am going to weigh in, good or bad. I'm weighing in next Friday. So that's my plan for this next week. And then come after the first of the year, it is hard core WW. I am flying to San Diego in March. So I have a weight loss goal for that. I'll be sharing that all with you guys in an upcoming video. So let's jump into my weigh in. So with my week and how it all went and with baking all day yesterday, when I stepped on the scale today, I am down. Woo! 1.8. Yes, I am thrilled that I lost this week. 
I'm a bit disappointed that I didn't get to take off everything that I gained last week. I'm 0.6 away, which makes me up for the month of December. Um, what did I say? I lost 1.8. Okay, so I'm up for the month of December, still 0.2. Two. So with that being said, I'd love to lose that point two next week. But again, I'm okay if I maintain when I hop on the scale next Friday. But I am thrilled beyond belief that I lost this week right before Christmas and that it was the substantial amount of 1.8. That's a pretty good loss. So I am thrilled with that. My work this week paid off. I was able to lose. So that is huge for me. I'm also at the end of this video going to include screenshots of my tracker as promised last Friday on how I did this week. So you'll see that I stayed within my points every day. Some days I had rollovers. Yesterday, um, I used most of my points. I think I even had rollovers yesterday, even with the taste testing of some of the sweet things that I made for Christmas. So it's been a month, guys. It's been a tough month. And I know that I am not the only one. So many of you, especially on my Facebook group, have posted that you are struggling the month of December. But I want to remind you guys of just a couple of things as far as the month of December. Number one, it's almost over. So take that as a win. We're less than a week from Christmas. So once Christmas is over, there's really no reason that we can't stay on track through the rest of December. Now I know that New Year's Eve is the last day. If you need to indulge or use your weeklies, that's my goal on New Year's Eve because I'm actually attending a big New Year's Eve party like I do every year. But come up until that day, we can be on track and we can even lose a little weight before the end of the year. And also remember that I know this year's been rough for a lot of people, but there is a new year and a new decade starting, you guys, in just a little bit over a week. So if you can just make it through the rest of December by maintenance, or even if losing a little bit, if you can swing it, that should be what we focus on. Enjoy the time with your friends and your family over the holidays. Someone brought up in my workshop today that it isn't about the food. It's about the people you're with for the holidays. And I'm going to remember that because honestly, that's the best part of the holidays is spending it with the people that we love. And the food and the drinks are just a side bonus, just the icing on the cake. So remember that we can do this, you guys. We can make it through the next week and a half of this year. We can do it. So I'm going to remind myself of that throughout this next week. Really curious as to what happens on the scale next Friday, because I'm going to enjoy my Christmas Eve and my Christmas day, but I'm going to really be careful the rest of the week. So this is the most challenging week for me with these parties and Christmas and all the things, but I have goals. I have wishes, dreams, and hopes of how I'm going to finish out this year, and I hope that you have the same. So with that being said, I want to hear how was your guys' week? Did you gain? Did you lose? Are you struggling with the holidays? What's your game plan for this next week? And are you going to be checking out my Facebook group for recipes and the WW app for recipes? There's a lot of things on the app that help us stay on track. And again, my Facebook group is a fabulous place for that as well. So before I go, because this is my last way in video of 2019, I want to say thank you to all of you for your love and your support and standing by my side through the good and the bad throughout this last year. I appreciate everything you guys have done to stand by me this year. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. I appreciate the support on my channel. I just appreciate you guys so incredibly much. You are my family and my friends, and that really truly means more to me than I can even tell you. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And from my family to your family, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Enjoy this time with your loved ones and really remember all of the things that we're thankful for as 2019 comes to a close. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, I'd love it if you'd subscribe, stick around for 2020, hit that little bell so you're notified whenever I upload. Thumbs up this video if you're proud of yourself for what you've done in 2019 and the month of December. And of course, leave those comments down below. I want to hear how your week went and what your game plan is for the last week and a half of 2019. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you so much. Merry Christmas. See you next time. Bye guys. <music>